the latest ESPN poll where they grade the receivers, votes from coaches, executives, players, scouts. They've got Jamar Chase as the number three receiver in football. They've got Justin Jefferson as number four. I think Adams was one, Cup was two. So we, we've really digested all of these rankings over the last few weeks, and very few of them actually have Chase above Jefferson. That really caught my eye. What do you think about that that poll, Ron, with Chase three, Jefferson four? Well, I mean, honestly, let, let's let's be real. Jamar Chase is a ridiculous athlete. Like the things he does, it, it, it's it's head and shoulders above a lot of other players in the league. Justin Jefferson as well, uh, Cooper Cup, and then Devontae Adams. I think those four have kind of put themselves out in front. We got you know DeAndre Hopkins. I think is right up in there as well. Um, you could say C.D. Lamb is not too far behind. Uh, but here's the thing with Jamar Chase and, and Justin Jefferson: they're different type of route runners. Jamar Chase is a little bit more violent with some of his routes. Justin Jefferson's a little bit more like he he's he's smooth with it. And so I think this year you're going to see it. So you saw Jamar Chase in an offense that was extremely well thought out by Zach Taylor. You saw an offense that was extremely predicated on certain coverages, changing routes, quarterback receiver being on the same page. The Vikings offense sometimes just seemed like it wasn't that consistent. And, and Kevin Ziefer pointed that out earlier in the interview. Uh, it, it just wasn't like, hey, this is what we need to do. We're going to win the games because of the offense. Uh, it was always a defensive mindset, and if the defense wasn't number one, it felt like the team wasn't happy. Like, they could get torched on defense, win a game on offense, and Kirk Cousins had to fight with the coach to celebrate. Like, it, it just it just always felt that way. Like, there, there was never happiness when the offense succeeded and the defense failed. So when you look at that from this offensive standpoint now, Justin Jefferson has a coach that's going to pour into him. He's going to help him out with different route schemes. He's going to give him choice routes. That's where I think Justin Jefferson can kind of jump back up and, and be in that number two conversation, number two receiver in the NFL. But when you're talking about Cooper Cup, Devontae Adams, Jefferson, it's, it's and Jamar, it's hard to really just pick a one. So if that's what the execs say, they're the guys looking at the film all day, every day. They're the guys asking other players. I'm going to trust that they, they have, like if it's PFF, I, I might question a little bit because they go off of like what happens in the play. These execs are just looking at routes. They're looking at body types. They're talking to coaches. They're talking to players. Um, you know, they're, they're talking to the scouts. Like, at that point, like, I'm going to trust that they know what why they're saying what they're saying. And so I'm going to say that's fine. I mean, I think this season is going to play out. We'll see of those four. But it's going to be a fun season to see what those four do. Yeah, it's going to be fun to watch Chase and Jefferson vie for that top receiver status for many years. Because I think they're going to be – at some point, probably one and two. Uh, Chase had a better rookie year than Jefferson, stat-wise. I mean, Jefferson, yeah. I, think, I think, broke the NFL record, and Chase beat it. So yeah. it's going to be awesome to see what kind of leap he takes in year two.